How many of you have an HR background and spent hours doing org charts in Excel? Basically, you create one and then there is a position that moves somewhere else. So you start modifying it for hours and hours and it's never ending. You have some vacant position, some changing positions, etc. So stay tuned to this video because I'm going to show you a way that is free and that will create for you org charts in literally minutes. And as you can see, this is a sample org chart and how it's going to look like. So let's start. We click here, create a new Excel sheet. We go to view grid lines. We remove the grid lines. Then we click on A1 and we go to insert. Then you have add ins visual data visualizer. Now, if you don't have this one, it might be because of two things. Number one, you don't have Office 365, so you just have to install Office 365. Number two, it could be because you don't have it. So you go to get add-ins and you do Visio. Here you can find it and you can do add. If you have Office 365, it's free. So you click on add and you'll get it. Next, when you get it, you go to my add-ins and then you will see it here. You double click on it and you will get this nice window. Here you can see I have continue without signing in. To sign in, you need either a work account or a school account. But even if you don't have any of those two, the preview is so good. It has so many features that are nice that you don't need more than this to make an org chart. So I'm going to click on this. Then I select organization chart and I have several options. The one I showed you in the other page was a hybrid one. So I'm going to select it. If you see here, I get a table that gets created and I will get an org chart based on this table. Let me explain to you the table and then we're going to try to do a small org chart so you understand how it works. So first of all, you have the ID. The ID could be any number, anything that is unique for your employee. So here it has ID one, two, three. You can have anything. It just has to be unique for every employee. Then you have the name. Then you have the title. So that's easy. The only place where you need to do some work is here. Basically, you need to identify each person reports to who. So for example, if you see my graph here, I have Asa and Paul, they report to Bianca. So Asa and Paul report to Bianca. Here you put the ID of Bianca. So Bianca has an ID of ID1. So you have ID1 here. For example, Sergio Udinese reports to Asa. So Sergio reports to Asa. Here we have Asa's ID, which is ID2, and so on. And then you have the role. So for roles, you have from executive to even a vacancy role. So you can choose any of those. Now let me show you a cool feature for role. If you see here, I have Asa, he's in green, right? So he's a manager. But if I put him as a consultant and I click refresh, you can see that Asa now is in red because all my consultants are in red. So we're going to bring him back to manager and click again. And as you can see, he becomes green again. So this is a cool feature. Another feature you have is that you can add any employee it doesn't have to be in order so for example let's assume i want to add an additional employee under bianca so i'm gonna say id one two three i'm gonna say bob k i'm gonna say he is a ui tester he reports to who he reports to bianca so id one and then he is a staff we click on refresh and then I get Bob K here. If Bob K was a vacant position, for example, we can do like this. We can remove his name and we can click refresh and you can see that this color and name and everything will update automatically. The other thing you could do is you can move people around. So for example, you have here Sergio Udinese and his team, they report to ASA. If suddenly I want Sergio to report to Paul, for example, I'm just going to change this. So Sergio is here. If he wants to report to Paul, it's ID3. So ID3, I refresh it. 
and then you can see that Sergio will now report to Paul and again you can click here make the graph bigger you can move through the graph to the chart so if you have very complicated or chart it's very easy to use you can obviously make it bigger from here and you can click on this which is fit diagram so it will fit it to the window that you have so now let's try to make a new one very quickly just to show you first you can delete this if you see here this is a an excel table so if i just type something here let's say i put id1 name bob k ceo he doesn't have a manager and then role type executive if i click it's not gonna work you see it's not gonna work why because still those red ones are here so to get rid of these red ones i just click here at the bottom of the table i drag it up and then i can just delete this so now it will work i refresh and i get bob k i'm just gonna add a few employees so we're gonna have for example anna she's a manager sales she reports to him we can select her as a manager then john t so id3 john t he's manager ops he also reports to him and then under john t i have two people one i have a vacant position so i'm gonna have trainee ops he's gonna report to john so id3 and this is a vacant position so i'm gonna select vacant and then i have another employee martina martina is also a trainee of so i can copy paste this also reporting to john and she's a consultant so i click here and i get my diagram and it's very simple as you can see